Yes, welcome back. And of course, on our second uh, segment of the interviews, and I'm speaking to Ismail Changawa, three-time Kenya Open winner that's in tennis. And he was also at the Africa Games that culminated uh, last month in Ghana. He's also part of uh, the team that set forward to represent Kenya in the Dev Africa Davis Cup later on next month in Angola. Welcome, Ismail Changawa. Well, thank you. To touchline, and let's begin with the, your preparation for the season. And the first test that you had this year, of course, was the Africa Games. In your own analysis of how it did go, how was the championship? Did you get to what the targets were for the team, as well as individual targets? Uh, for me, actually, it was a nice experience. It was nice. Everybody was there to win. Yeah, and also we had good players, and then, I mean, the tournament actually you can you know, lose to anybody, you know, because, I mean, like, everybody got focused because, you know, it's an Olympic qualifier, so, I mean, it's a really intensive, and uh, for me, actually, I had a chance, yeah, but um, chance was big to, to qualify, but it's a lack of training, mm -hmm. you know, so, like, uh, we didn't start training early, on the case and then also lack of the tournament because I mean like all the players that we played uh, against them they are coming actually from the tournament mm -hmm. yeah so it's hard to beat the person who is coming to the tournament because he has more experience he's in rhythm yeah he's mm -hmm. already like on fire mm -hmm. and then on uh, us also we've been training on uh, on clay on instead clay. of hard court uh -huh. so you see that uh, it, uh, it was a little bit uh, challenge mm -hmm. for us Kenyan mm -hmm. but uh it was a good tournament. Mm -hmm. I played a uh, good match and I uh, really enjoy. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then um, it's not like I'm complaining, but yeah, so it sure. was, um, sure. yeah. How, I how mean, they tried, they tried their best, mm -hmm. especially the tennis Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's better than nothing, but uh, they really tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I appreciate that. And the men's team, of course, it was you, Akina Cheruyot, as well? Yes. As Kibet. And Kibet, too. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and you, you did reach the third round. Yes. How did this set you to for, for the season now? How does this help you prepare for the season now? Okay, I mean, this actually, we talk about it, and then that's what I'm saying, like, actually, thanks for the tennis Kenya, mm -hmm. because right now, like, we started training, like, <laughs> like two weeks mm -hmm. <laughs> ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're just getting early, and then maybe they're going to send us probably maybe like two tournament or three mm -hmm. to get ready for the Davis Cup. Because, I mean, the Davis Cup is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough also. The, the, the same players that are, they were in the All African Games, mm -hmm. also they're going to be in the Davis Cup. So, so we started training early and, uh, yeah, stay, uh, mm -hmm. and stay focused mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. how it goes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, of course, the Davis Cup, Kenya has been perennial, um, perennial participant, right? Yeah. And at one time we were almost getting to Group 2, but we've always been group three and group two. Getting group to group two has been, um, it's, it's the struggle, it's the battle. No, actually, we were in the yeah, group two. Yeah, we were in group two, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's we were in group two, and mm -hmm. then we lost. And mm -hmm. then uh, we had, uh, uh, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, so we just the, the, like the, training the, yeah, and stuff going like down, that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but so, uh, yeah. it's good. I mean, it's not bad, but yeah. we really appreciate on that. But uh, right now, uh -huh. we're training early, and then I hope, they're going to send us to like one, uh, two or three tournaments before the Davis Cup. Yes. Because, and I mean, everybody right now who's in the Davis Cup, they're playing tournaments and stuff like that to get ready uh -huh. to that tournament. Uh -huh. yeah. So, you, you Kenya, the, what does it require? What, what does having been, having played in, in several, um, se several tournaments, you know, se several Davis Cup tournaments, what does it require? Maybe this year now. Okay, uh, this year, I mean, all the players actually they're complaining because of the tournament. Uh -huh. Because you and know, enough, enough preparation. Yes, enough preparation, and then also like um, to get there early and to practice more. Because I mean, we have a good coach. Uh -huh. I mean, Coach George. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, but uh, oh, he's also and also Rose. Also, she come uh, she, here and there, yeah. come and help us, and we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So we have actually the coaches, mm -hmm. actually, but mm -hmm. you know, we're practicing well. But we don't have the experience for the tournament. Yeah. Like, you know, everybody that coming from the tournament, you know, they're fresh, yeah. their mind, they're just there, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what we need right now. It, 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 it's whose job to find tournaments? That's a good question. <laughs> 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 That's a good question. I mean, 
Uh, also, we need like support from the federation and the government. Mm -hmm. That's how. But there's a lot of tournament because there's tournament from January to January. Mm -hmm. So every week there's tournament. So you just like sit down and plan which tournament we are going to play and get ready for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. And of course, uh, the um, now with the coming of uh, Davis Cup, by all what we can rely on is that people are going to fight, right? Yeah, I mean, everybody doesn't want to lose. Everybody wants the gold, you know. So I think, uh, actually, as Kenya, we are the most, actually, people, they fear us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, we have the players. Mm -hmm. But just the... Organization. Yeah, no, I mean, the, yeah. the exposure that yeah. we yeah. don't have. But yeah. we do have the good players. Because, I mean, everybody, even if you, you ask, like, anybody, like any country, they'll tell you that the Kenyan, the main Kenyan tennis players are really tough, mm -hmm. you know, in the Davis Cup right now. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we just need to stay focused and play a lot of tournaments. Because yeah. right now we're trying, we started early, mm -hmm. trying, we started three months early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, I mean, it's really good. Yes. Yeah. And of course, uh, your team, right, your teammates in the men's team, your players who play together, your age mates, you've come out at the same time. You know, and now for, for, for all this time, you've always been together. What do you think you want to achieve? I mean, I mean, good thing is uh, with boys, mm -hmm. we like pushing each other because I mean, like we came from far. Then we came from the same uh, from the same city in Mombasa. Yes. You know, so we know we, we understand each other, uh -huh. like uh -huh. yeah, because we grew up, and then also we train at the same you club before. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. We train at the same club before, so mm -hmm. like we do understand each other, but um. So, like, and then we keep pushing each other, but uh, that's why we, we're strong. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we, I really enjoy playing, you know, around the boys. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, indeed. And, uh, of course, this also goes down to how you also came up, you know, and you've won three Kenya Opens of the three. Is there anyone, any title among the three that you can point out was the most special? I mean, I, I have a lot of titles. I have, like, Rwanda Open, yeah. Champion. How about the Kenya Open, uh, which you've won three times? I mean, yeah, I mean, Kenya, I mean, the Kenya Open is yeah. <laughs> really good. Any, any of the three that was really special? Was the first one, the last one, the second one? Uh, I think it was the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the last one was a uh, bit <laughs> crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. What, what was it special? I mean, special because, I mean, like, uh, the stadium was full, uh -huh. you know, like, people would come and watch and stuff like that. You and, know, you, so and you play for the, you play for the fans, right? They yeah. give you the second... Uh, you, know, you know, the fans has to be there, a little bit there, and then, you know, they can push you up, because, you know, sometimes, if some, you don't... Uh, some of them are throwing slurs that you can't uh, understand, you know, like, uh, uh, like yeah. what we see in, in tennis matches, uh, sometimes uh, you have to go <laughs> to the referee and tell the referee, tell those guys to stop hurling those, whatever uh, they're saying. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, at the end of the day, you know, you have to stay focused and, you know, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You played for the crowd. The crowd did, uh, they carried you. Yeah, the pro actually, the crowd, yeah, every, every time the crowd carries me. But mm -hmm. uh, that's the most important, actually. But in fact, actually, I have, I have actually many fans in Rwanda than Kenya. What do you mean? <laughs> 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 yeah, actually, I have a lot of fans <laughs> in Rwanda than How Kenya. How did you earn them? Ah, uh, I mean, stay humble, you know, love everybody, talk, because I mean, like, people, they tell me, like, I, I always talk to everybody, mm -hmm. you know, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, this guy is a star, but doesn't feel himself, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, yeah, it's just natural, it's just talking to everybody, that's how you win your mm -hmm. fans, mm -hmm. and win people, mm -hmm. you know, that's... In Kenya, it's hard to do that? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, in Kenya, if you win the tournament, it's like, ah, that guy is, you know, the industry, they you, they're like, oh, that guy is rich, he doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> oh, that guy's like, oh, that guy has kiburi, oh, that guy has a big head, he doesn't want to talk to people, you see, that's yeah. the problem well, yeah. with us. But, but, but they shouldn't know who Changawa is, you came up humble, right, and yes. tracing your, your roots, you know, your, your, how your grandmother was behind, was crucial in up to this place, <laughs> yes, talk about it, yes. Yeah, I mean, actually, thank for my grandmother and my grandfather, I mean, they've been supporting from since day one. Mm -hmm. You know, and then also they love watching me play. Mm -hmm. So that's the most uh, important. And then also I'm humble to them. And r I really enjoy when they're around me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and what, what, what kind of um, maybe takeaway uh, advice or information? You grew up with them, right? They brought yeah. you up. What kind of uh, keywords or, or, or guidance they give you that you hold up to today? 
has been so instrumental in helping you reach to where you are up today? Uh, I mean, normally they told me like to stay school. That's first, <laughs> you know, back in the days. Uh -huh. Tell you to stay school, uh -huh. stay focused, and then don't let, don't let uh, fame, mm -hmm. you know, be, you know. So you just need to be stay humble, mm -hmm. love people. It doesn't matter how much you have. Even you can make like uh, half a billion. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who you are. I mm -hmm. mean, you have to stay humble mm -hmm. and talk to people nicely and don't change. Mm -hmm. Just stay the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. what, what's fame to you? <laughs> <That's a good laughs> yeah. I mean, fame, because I mean like, you know, people, people watch you in the TV. Mm -hmm. People like see you in the magazine. Uh -huh. Yeah, people like hear, oh, this is so and so. Yeah, how does that yeah. make you feel? Yeah. I mean, for me, it doesn't feel, not, I mean, for me, it's just normal, you know, like, it doesn't feel big to me. Yeah. Yeah. It does, it does feel like it's a drug you need it? Like, it's fame. Fame is like maybe a drug, so you need, you need to win, you need to be on the field. You need people to shout your name, like you miss it sometimes? Yeah, I mean, sort of, but uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, like, when you put fame in your head, yeah. you won't focus. Because, I mean, like, if you put, uh, if you put fame in your, in your head right yeah, now, yeah. it's like... It's like, oh, I don't want to go there. Oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I don't want to do I, this. Yeah. You see, uh -huh. so, like, but, you know, like, everybody, like, when they're watching you, uh -huh. they're going to make you practice more because, like, uh -huh. if you lose, uh -huh. they're going to go back yeah. to you. You yeah. know, they're going to throw shades on you, yeah. you know, that. But uh, for me, uh -huh. I just focus, just stay focused. Uh -huh. And I don't play. I don't, I don't care about the fame, you uh -huh. know. But uh -huh. I just either than stay humble. Yes, yeah. indeed. Or oh, maybe what, what Changa was just saying is that um, he's learned how to put a bandage on his head, you know, like his head doesn't grow big, uh, regardless of how the name keeps on, you know, gaining more attraction and new people coming on his side and all that, but he stays grounded. But also maybe what makes you stay grounded, Changa? What makes you not look at fame like anything else? Maybe music? Yeah, actually, yeah. Me, normally I like spending time on the music and also spend time on the tennis court. Mm -hmm. But a lot of time, music, you know, music makes, makes me relax. Mm -hmm. You know, makes me feel like home. You know, that's mm -hmm. the thing that I do, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. a lot of time you see me with earphones, you know, listen to something. Mm -hmm. Then listen to people, what they're talking about, mm -hmm. you know, like negative stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and Changawa is also a uh, sports medicine graduate, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, sports science. Sports science, yeah, man. And also has an album out. It's called Grandson coming out. Hopefully, uh, he'll be here next Saturday on East Circuit, right? But maybe we, as just we wind up uh, Changawa, you know, at the Africa Games in Ghana, Angelo Kutoi did win gold, you know, and that was like for the first time in, in so many years, right? And we look at how she was around. She came out at the same time you guys were running. You know, you were, were big, you know, just making your name as well at Nairobi Club. What kind of, what, what, what would you talk about her qualities at that time when she was coming out? Was it like, yo, she looks like a star, future star? Or at that time, what kind of um, person me, was she coming up when you were seeing her, you doing your thing, and she was also just trying to come up at that time too? Yeah, for me, I knew that she's going to be big because, mm. I mean, like, she'd been... You know, she'd been always in the tennis court. She'd been always, like, asking, like, calling me, or Kibe, or Ziggy. I was like, yo, let's go practice. Let's go play. Mm -hmm. You see? So, like, I knew that, like, because, you know, like, I knew that she's going to become something, mm -hmm. you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it's grateful, and I'm really proud of her mm -hmm. that she's, she's really working right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when she was young, she used to come and ask questions, mm -hmm. you know, uh, why should I do this? Like, do you think if I do this, it's going to be wrong? Or give me, like, um, you know, ideas on that. So normally, like, she comes and then we guide her because, I mean, like, she's our small sister. Mm -hmm. So we have to guide her. Mm -hmm. And also she's from Dark City. So, mm -hmm. you know, like, we have to, to guide her. And uh, I'm really proud of her. And right now she's, she does her thing. Man. I mean, congratulations yeah. for her. I'm proud of her, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, hashtag Angela, man. Hashtag no weakness. Yeah. You know? And remember that Angela did dethrone Ismail's sister, Shufa, in the Kenya op for her when she won her first Kenya Open title. That was in 2018 or thereabout, yeah, right? Like, yeah, like, and I remember... Like 2017. Yeah, 2017, <laughs> yeah, and I remember yeah. interviewing Shufa, and Shufa, her eyes were all welled up, and she could not believe, but Angela just did announce her 
arrival on yeah, the big stage at that tennis, time. Tennis yeah. is funny, you know. You yeah, today you win tomorrow. Why is it so? Why is it so? Why is it because so? I mean, people they don't sleep. You, you, you think if you beat them <laughs> now, you beat them today, yeah. they'll sleep. They'll sleep. They're gonna work hard. Yeah, like, like that and make sure they beat you next time. Yes, you indeed. Know, so yeah. And of course, thank you so much, Ismail. And remember that uh, Ismail's album is coming up. But they check it out on YouTube and Facebook. Ismail is Kenya's top seeded player. You know, tennis and. Uh, has an album out, it's called Grandson. Ismail is a rapper, so maybe <laughs> we just sign out with some a few freestyle rights. Maybe drop a bar, drop a bar so we, we, we wind up this particular in interesting interview. They say, in my, vi they say in my village you don't rap a cappella. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. No, you know, in rap people go a cappella. You know, you know, you know, okay, I can beat people. Them. You see, people, people like us, like, I, we listen beats, okay, we listen to beats, the word comes. I know what you say, yeah, you're a star, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe if I could, I, maybe I could just like beatbox, but I'm not so good at it, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> yeah. No, but just, just, say, stay tuned, just stay tuned, yeah. go, go my uh, YouTube, I just released a song with Wakadinali right now, yeah. it's going, and uh, yeah, and then the album is coming out, Grandson, and um, keep humble, and thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you so much, Ismail. Yeah. For gracing Touchline today, you know, and coming up next is Fanzone with Tiraswa Yaki. Stay tuned on the Touchline.